Throughout the day, we're going into the Roman Baths, and this is the city trail here. And here is the uh, here are the Roman Baths we're going into. Going to cost us about uh, 20 pounds each. It cost me 19 and a half. So I'm an old fogey. It's going to cost Lisa a 20 and a half. So it's an average of 20 pounds to go into the Roman Baths. Can't swim in them anymore. Can't bathe in them anymore. But uh, in we go. We're in the 12:45, the one o'clock lane. No luggage inside, please. In we go. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome the pump room. Ooh, in we go. Through the little maze. <laughs> Do, do, do. Oh, endless hot mineral water. The Romans. Wow. Oh, unique weddings in the bath. Wow. Have to see. Okay. And we're gonna get we're gonna get an audio guide here. Uh, English. English. Press one followed by the green button. Just one. listen like a phone. We don't do a, a headphone. It just, just yeah, just like a telephone right. and speak at you then. Okay. Thank you. Hi ladies. Welcome. Here we are at the Roman Baths. It's a little greenish. I guess that's why you, uh, they no longer allow you to bathe or swim in here. It's a World Heritage Site. And, uh, excavating this place in uh, 1727. Uh, a lot of excavation in the 1800s and opened this platform here in uh, 1897. And you see it's right across from the, the Bath Abbey here. I still don't understand why uh, they don't clean it up and let people come in here and bathe. Why they don't clean up and use it? Yeah, bathe like the Romans. Come on, man. We could, we could uh, charge more money. Uh, these statues here are uh, Roman governors of Britannia. Over here, you got Julius Caesar. And you got Claudius over here. So, uh, it's quite interesting. So these things aren't original. They put these they put these guys in here in 1897 to make it more Romanesque. This is when they um, they opened it. They reopened it after discovering these baths. Uh -huh. They opened them to the public in 1897. They built this this um, terrace which uh -huh. has statues on three sides, and then they commissioned the statues uh -huh. to give it sort of more of a Roman look. And so it's like Roman leaders, like uh, Julius Caesar's over there. Yeah, Claudius is over there, yeah. and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a uh, fake. Some are, some are British leaders too. Oh, really? Oh. Mm -hmm. But it didn't catch all the names. Oh, okay. So it's fake Roman. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the, uh, the hot spring here. Water, water bubbles up here oh, at, at 46 degrees Celsius. Uh, as you can see from this, this uh, dates back to the first century AD. 76 AD. Uh, here's one of the original columns, part of it, and now being used to support the real building with uh, some, some steel. Such a, such a waste. You can be sitting there. Your bikini is chilling out. Is that girl posing like that? Yeah. For all these people. She's a YouTube star. This is what it looked like in the 4th century AD. Over construction, more buildings. And from the other side. Now this is the uh, the temple pediment.
And it is a picture of the Roman Empire. And as you can see, it's pretty crowded here today. A little chilly, a little wet outside. Nothing better to do than to come inside, look out, check out the Roman baths. It's actually a little too crowded. Oh, I'm standing on the, the crypt here. They, uh, they found these coins in 2007. Massive uh, floor of them in eight bags in a corner of a building, old Roman building that they uh, were dumbing for, uh, for redevelopment here. Quite the stash. About, probably about 10,000 coins in total. Well, from. Uh, right around uh, you know, the first century AD. More remnants of the early Roman buildings here. Uh, some more of the original here. Walking along a little gang flank. Uh, this reminds me of the uh, Templo Mayor in uh, Mexico City. It does. Uh, here's the altar. Obviously, with some reconstructed parts. Sacri actually, the sacrificial altar. Uh, this is found in 19. This altar was found in 1965 during excavations. The goddess Minerva, source of the water. Source of the water here. Source of Minerva, in here. You can actually touch her head. I mean, Pat had kind of empty there. That's Pat. So this please touch. But it's uh, not a full head. It's only half a head. Um, here is the sacred spring where the water is bursting forth from the ground. They made of gold. Yeah. These are some of the coins that are found in the, uh, this, in the spring here. So even 2,000 years ago, people did the same thing, tossed their coins into, into, the, into the baths here. They were offerings to Goddess Minerva. Oh, even, even a number of forgeries. Uh-oh. And see, the shiny ones are actually gold and uh, precious materials. Yeah. They would have been a very generous offering to the Goddess Sulis Minerva. So you can always tell you're getting to the end when you get to the gift shop. So I'm not quite at the end yet. So we got the red, so we got the red color here, which is iron in this water. And uh, we also got smell, which you can't smell on video, but uh, it's a soft, soft, soft lyric smell that we're getting here. Oh, here's some video, some rare video footage of one of the original craftsmen. <laughs> Creating, creating some of the stone blocks that were used used here. And all these canals with little channels to channel the, the hot water around from one bath to the other. Again, water flowing through all these channels from one, one of the baths to the other. And here, you know, some gemstones were also found in the baths, along with the coins. Down at the level here, and someone wants to know if we can put our feet in. This guy already got his feet in there. Maybe that's why it's so dirty. be a Roman to enjoy the lap of luxury and just lounge around in this warm pool. Up and here's uh, Lisa. 
one of the original Romans here that's getting ready to take her, take her bath. <laughs> Just a few short steps right into that inviting water. Not. Straight, straight from the rare video, one of the original craftsmen. Here it is, one of his uh, <laughs> final works. Here is a semicircular immersion pool bath. This was quite the complex. Way at one of the far extremes of the Roman Empire. Watch your step. Don't become part of the extinct Romans. Over here. We have this is the hot room. Mm -hmm. Quite the complex. Ooh, well, looks like they bathe naked. Another room, again, probably pretty dark. The bath. Looks like this is the massage room. This has actually got some real running water in it. Oh, there we go. Getting some white here now. And, uh, here we got some people, not real Romans, but maybe real Romans. You guys real Romans? I am, yes. Oh, you are? Okay. Not, not her, though. No, okay. Cool. Why, why, aren't you, why aren't you in there bathing? Oh, I've been in already. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. You, so you've been in the changing room, and yeah. Uh, so you're all, you're, all, you're all set for the day, then? Yeah. Perfect. Are you going in? I would like to, uh, but I think they probably... Uh, yeah. You they, can't I don't, go in dress like that. Uh, oh, I can't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you won't be naked. Oh, okay. Perfect. No problem. That's, that's, in, in the changing room? Okay, yeah. let's go for it. She says I can go in. Go in where? Swimming. You've got to get clean first, so you have a massage and all that sort of stuff. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Why aren't you videotaping them? I am. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, gotta go, I gotta go back around and go through the whole thing. The changing, you know, yeah. get back in here, get the massage. And massage. Well, that's, why, that's why you can be here all day. Okay. So what are you all doing here? Just relaxing. You came here? Are you her servant? Yes. No. Are you the one who plucked your underarm hairs? No, no, the bathhouse attendants do that. Who is responsible for my hair, doing my makeup when I get back out of the water. She goes everywhere with me, so. All right. uh, I'm sure it takes all day to do your hair. A couple of hours, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I sit still. And she made sure about your... Uh, it's very beautiful. This is the place to be seen, so it's good to look your best. Ah, yes. Ah, okay. I, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. <laughs> no, no, well, be sure place to be seen naked. Of course. As you told me. No, yeah. here you don't want we, to be naked. No, and, not and, here, when you're in there. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, the yeah. women and the men are in separate places. Uh -huh. Not in my day, everyone together. When oh, the really? house first opened, yeah. Oh, that must Different have been fun. Different emperors change the rules as it goes on, but I probably won't live to see those rules. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You're looking it's mighty good for your age. You, you <laughs> 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 I, I particularly like the uh, Roman accent too. Well, you're speaking just like the locals speak. You're uh, fitting right in. Uh, right. People would think you're local. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the logo from across the pond. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are in the gym. <laughs> See some of the Romans working out. Yeah, there were some Check them out. Man, look. Right look, they're using like the lead weights. Just, uh, Don't you want to get particularly, uh, wrestle with them? You know, like... Uh, same shape and size that you use in the days. Look at him, doesn't Boy, he look fit? It looks good. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> oh. Well, this is before the Greeks. This is just Roman wrestling, not Greco Roman. <laughs> Some important room here. This is the uh, Laconium. Some word I don't even know. So that's really helpful to me. No explanation. Otherwise, of course, I could listen to it on the audio, but that would require me to listen to the audio. It's a steam room. You can see by looking at the picture. Oh, uh, steam room. A laconium is steam room. Who knew? No one. All right. They don't want me to uh, toss any coins into this. This, but this was the cold plunge. I don't know why I would toss coins into the cold plunge. Oh, but someone did someone didn't read the sign 
but they want their coin to be found. So this is sort of like the concept of a hot tub, where they do yeah. all that hot shit, then they jump into this cold, cold stuff. Yeah. Then they'd be cold. There's the guys. There then is. they'd be freezing, so they'd have to go over to the steam room for that hot room, which is like a sauna that we were just okay. Yeah, and here's the, uh, the pizza oven. Wood-fired pizza oven. No, no, it's a roof spine fragment here. Brick arch, see? That's where you get your brick oven wood-fired pizzas. There's some real warm water coming here. Water is untreated. Please do not drink or touch. Here, going right on through there. Other side is the hot bath. Water comes out. Here are the West Baths. We're gonna walk across them. We're looking down. Ooh. What we can do is walk across. We can't touch them. But we're not even allowed to touch this one. Uh oh, I think it looks like we're coming to the end. He's gonna collect our and some more of these things. That was quite ingenious, though, to put these uh, floors up above the heated water to uh, generate some warmth. I was just really ingenious of those uh, Romans. They had a fire too. Yeah. And as an added bonus, we get to drink some of the water. I'm gonna drink it. Yeah, all right. Do it, do it. So Lisa's going to uh, drink it. What's the, what's the temperature of that stuff? Like 100 degrees? No, it's probably cold spring water. No, it's not cold spring water. It's warm. Oh yeah, go ahead. Don't let me stop you. I'm just. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. So Lisa, Lisa's going to tr try this. Just remember, it's hot. Don't just chug it down. It's not really very good either. <laughs> I mean, it's mineral water. Uh -huh. so you can taste minerals. Yeah. And it smells too. <laughs> <laughs> it has curative powers. Good, it's good. It, you know, whatever, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I want to be cured of everything that ails me. All right. Uh, cheers. Do you want to yep. try it? I'll try it. Yeah. Not really want into it. Want me to turn this around so that they around. all can see you uh, trying this spring water? Yep. Yeah. But it, we did it. We did it. <laughs> You can't come to bath without tasting the waters, right? Can't come to bath without taking a bath. Well, yes, you can. Obviously, we didn't take a bath. Almost. I took a shower this morning. That's true. And of course, the requisite gift shop here. What if they sell some bottled water? You guys uh, should bottle some of the water and sell it. We have the bottled water that you can't drink. It's just the show. Uh huh. It's just over where the guy in the left. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, right here. Oh, okay, great, thanks. All right, here it is. I think that's some of the water we're selling. Doesn't say how much. 525. It's expensive water. So, Lisa, what do you think of the Roman baths? Well, once I got used to the fact that I didn't actually get to bathe in the Roman baths, it's not a bath for you to bathe in. No. Once we realized it's actually a museum of Roman history here in England, uh, then I was really on board and it was really fascinating. Yeah, I mean, the, the website actually didn't do justice to uh, what, was, what was in there. It doesn't we, really we, describe it at all. No, I mean, we spent actually an hour and a half in there. And um, you know they gave you a big, you know, an audio guide which Lisa religiously, uh, you know, followed at each stop. And it's really I, helpful. And I just ignored. But um, you know, it was, it, it was a lot of history in there. It was much, much, much more extensive than what I thought it was. You know, from what the pictures were. I, and you know, it, it, the price of for us, uh, for us on a weekend of 20 pounds each. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was worth it. Can I make a point? that he didn't notice because he ignored the audio guide, is that the audio guide had like a, a different number for interesting places, but there were three numbers. So one of the numbers just told you about the place. Then one of them was the Bill Bryson's comments about the place, and he's a British travel writer who they love here, like Rick Steves. And then there was also, if there was a cartoon character, then that meant it was something a kid could listen to. I should listen to the cartoon character. 
So yeah. they made it as kid friendly as they could, and there were a lot of kids here. Not a huge amount, but enough kids here listening to the kid version. And it was very interactive with little videos. Yeah, it um, looked like a little scavenger hunt for uh, for the kids too. Really? Yeah. And then there were also videos in each place showing actors playing the role of people back in Roman times to right. give you an, Even a naked sense of ones. what it was like. That's true. <laughs> yes. Because when they when they went in the baths, they were naked. So there were a bunch of old, naked actors. Yeah. In this video, you know, playing different characters from Roman times, whether or from the late 1800s, because it was a a multi-layered history, both back in Roman times, thousands of years ago, or when this was part of the Roman Empire, but also they reopened these baths in the late 19th century and society people came here and they brought their servants and they bathed and socialized together and then of course today so so, so if you're ever in bath you know definitely uh consider that as uh, part of your, your your stay here your tour here and uh you know, until next time may your suitcase always be messy and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified of our upcoming videos hasta luego see you soon